So this is the ring light that we have. It's a pro photo ring light. Um, we, it's really common in beauty and portraiture. So we're gonna do a couple of things that are sort of beauty and high key coming up here. Um, so I thought I'd bring this out. <coughs> and you can think of this as becoming your main or your fill, um, depending on how you wanna use this. The one that we have here is, we have a couple different versions, but the acute, and the 2R means it's radio transmitter and then 1200. So that's the, uh, the watts per second. So that tells you how powerful it is. Um, the one that is not a radio one, there's a pocket wizard that goes along with it. So this is all set up so when the camera goes off, it triggers the power pack and the flash to go off. The flash isn't directly attached to the, the camera, but that is an option as well too. On the side here, it tells you basically how to do your power settings. Um, so you just kind of have to look through this. Um, what you'll notice there's an A and a B. The A and the B is the way that this is set up. So A is a single light and B means you can divide the, the power. So think about this, the A can have half the power, so 600 watts per second, and the B can have 600 watts per second. So the Bs can then divide again, so you can have 300, 300, 600. That gives you 1200 total. So that's how it all divides up. That's basically what you have. You don't have like infinite amount of changes like a mono light. You're, you're a little bit more um, restricted in a sense. So right now I've got it set at the lowest power setting which is the bottom of one flash head. So the bottom one flash head means that I have the, there's an A plus B, that means the power goes to all, all areas. There's an A or B. So right now I've got it to go to the A or B. So now it's, um, it's allowing me to just use a section as opposed to the whole thing. Then there is uh, on the A, because I'm plugged into the A here, you'll see that there's a, there's a circle that's totally white. That means it's getting all the possible power. Or these are like stops in a way that this divides the power down. So out of that um, 600 that can go to the side, these other ones allow me to divide it down. So this, this little white that looks like a, a fourth means I'm getting a fourth of that possibility there. So 600 divided by four. So you know, like 300, 300 divided by two, it's, you know, it's about 150 that I'm limiting myself down to there. So that, that's how we get to this point. So that takes me down to the lowest possibility right there. So you can see full, you can see half, and you can see a quarter. Um, the next thing I want to do with this is I have a bracket here. So if it's at the, if it's, if it's at the, uh, the, the top part there, that's kind of where you start and then you can see that you can turn it to even power down more. So I'm powering it down minus two. So I'm gonna start with only 37.5 watts per second possible. If I go back up, I can take it to 75 or even 150, but that, that's the range and it's a lot of power coming out of here, uh, especially in somebody's face. Big misconception, the ring light has no, um, it has no modeling light, so there is no, normal continuous light coming out of this thing. So the controls for the modeling light don't even apply. It's just, uh, you're not gonna be able to use it anyway. So other attachments that uh, you know could be purchased in the future or something like that might be able to work with it, but we don't have a modeling light on our ring light. So I'm just gonna kind of point this towards the ground and there's a test button. And so you can see there's the test that goes out there. And did you hear that little beep? So that little beep means, hold on, I'm charging, and then it's ready to go again. There's also a, a little um, thing over here that says slave unit, and the slave unit, if the light goes off in the room, it would go off at the same time. I don't need that because I have the radio control going on. But, um, you know, it just there's a tiny bit of light here, so it took it a split second to get ready again. If you use this with a lot more power, it'll take longer to recycle the power time here. Totally different, the photogenics are, are um, are mono lights and this is a, a power pack system and in a sense it's symmetrical it's just um, you've got half going to two possible devices and half going to one possible device so that's the way it splits up there all right so now I've got this all set up here so the camera is on a bracket and the brackets attached to the ring light and there's a reflector on the ring light um, the reflector is just to maybe make it a little less harsh. It's a, you know, it's, this is a frontal light, direct light, directly on a person. It's kind of like the opposite of what we normally do, but it can really fill in all the shadows um, quite nicely. Um, so it, it's a very flat look to some degree, but it's kind of popular. I put this on here just to kind of show you that you can attach a tripod. Um, in the future, we'll probably have about a handle that only comes to here. 
to kind of hold it and that might support especially in a horizontal configuration. Um, if you don't want to use that, you can just undo off a tripod or a light stand or take the handle off. It's really hard to control though, it's a lot of weight in one hand. So you can put your hand on the bracket and you can kind of hold that like this. So you've got your normal here. But you know, this is it's some weight to, to kind of control one of these guys here. I would recommend that you have your, your lens all the way zoomed out because it's really hard to control things in here and you probably want to be in autofocus because of the fact that you just can't really reach the controls on the lens very well. It's all kind of hidden in the chamber. You can see that the, the lens is kind of going through the center of the light.